guys, welcome back. Started prepping this 353 for the uh, 353T for the Ingersoll Rand repower. And uh, just pulling out all the plugs on the head so I can send it in for a uh, hot tank and Magnaflux. And then after that it goes down to Vancouver and there's a shop down there called K&W Diesel and they're going to put new guides, tubes and uh, dress the seats up and then uh, I'll put new valves and springs and keepers in it so that, that'll be the head rebuilt <coughs> and the block, all I gotta do to the block now is prep that for the hot tank so I'll pull out all the plugs on that so basically what I'm talking about here is all of these little plugs get pulled out. So oil gallery and fuel and airbox drains and all that stuff. So then uh, as long as everything passes then I assess what parts I'll need. So I've got basically enough to overhaul this engine from parts I've scrounged up over the year from different people. So I've got an overhaul kit here bearings, uh, almost everything I need. I just need T pistons, so those are naturally aspirated piston kits, so I'll get some T piston kits. Uh, just the pistons themselves, I don't need anything else because I've got the rings and, and everything else. So, But I'll go through my inventory, look at what I need, and then order it all up. So it should be a lot of fun. Put new cam bearings, new idler bearing in it new mains, new conrod bearings, and I think all of that is in this box of stuff I've got. So, um, And then it's going to go into this uh, 375 CFM compressor, and I bought these two items from the same guy, so I picked them up, the engine and the, uh, the compressor. This had a 6BT Cummins in it, or sorry, a 4BT, and uh, it wasn't in it when I bought it, so. And this is the uh, compressor for it, the twin screw. And it seems to be in operational condition, so we'll see. It's not my 353, but it's my old 453T um, block. I'm going to send that down with my 353 and see if I can salvage this block. Um, Make up. I'll ask the machinist and see if it's savable. I think it is, so eventually I can come back to this block and build it up as well for a spare. And if you like Detroit's, go back in the uh, my videos and you'll see a 350 or sorry a 453 T build um, converted over to silver series and that's in my uh, 2009 Ford F350 so I've got just over 3,000 miles on it now it's running sweet so It kind of looks like junk. I suppose it is junk. But with a little TLC, it should be a nice compressor. And it's going to be used for blowing out my irrigation, uh, the pool, and uh, maybe for sandblasting if I get enthusiastic and get a big cabinet, I could use it for that as well. So. So if you like Detroit's and you like Ingersoll Rand, stay tuned. We got lots of stuff. So a big cleanup to do here before the snow falls. And while this stuff's away at the shop, I'll, uh, I'll start cleaning up and get it ready for an overhaul. Oh, well, there it is. 1964. 
353, and it's uh, it's ready for the hot tank and magnaflux. It's uh, off to the machine shop. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for further updates on the 353.